So it seems unedited up close pictures of many celebrities have been released including the Kardashian girls and they look very different to what they put up online. Hey guys, it's Marad Marali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content guys. And let's get straight into this video where we have, you know, blemishes, scars, wrinkles, you know, spots on faces all being, you know, released let's just say to the public eye and you know we have a lot of people um discussing this so first up we have kendall jenner i'm gonna get into this straight away send a super thanks if you guys wish to shout out to those that have it is right below please do um yeah so we have kendall and of course kendall already looks different in terms of her skin texture um it just you know you can see there's this blemishes spots all over her faces you know um, wrinkles uh, above her lips dimples or whatever you want to call them as well as her forehead now this is you know normal she looks normal she doesn't look different she does look different from her instagram and that is the issue that we look at people's instagrams every day that's the only way we see them the only way we notice them and then when we look at stuff like this we think they are somebody else but no this is the reality of seeing somebody in person and I feel like it's just important to really talk about it. She looks fine, but you can see blemishes, wrinkles, and spots. Next up we have is, you know, Kris Jenner. Now, Kris Jenner is reaching her 70s anyways. So, you know, we do see a lot of editing with her. But I think she looks great for her age. And I think that, you know, evidently work is done. But, you know, we are seeing wrinkles below the eye that you just don't see on Instagram. Next up we have is Khloe Kardashian. And I feel like she looks completely different to what we see online completely different you know heavy makeup of course but you can see spots um you can see you know small little um wrinkles all over her um under her eyes as well this is normal guys and people of her age will be comparing themselves to what they see on instagram when this is the reality of who this person is who has taken these pictures and released them i really don't know but i'm pretty sure the kardashian girls are angry about this and want this taken down because we know how they act when it comes to unedited pictures of them that float around online they don't like it at all so i think this is probably irritated them but i think chloe all of the girls look fine here but they just look very different to their instagram it's a huge stark contrast next up we have is you know kim and yet again you can see a difference here evidently you know loads of botox has been done but you are seeing you know wrinkles under the eyes um that she has kind of prevented and snatched away and you know you can see skin texture is very different a few spots here and there on her face and again you just don't see any of this when it comes to instagram and they upload pictures of themselves looking completely perfect and clean and then we associate that and then we get upset with ourselves when we see ourselves in the mirror men or women looking at men or women online thinking why don't we look like that why do our aunt isn't my skin that smooth my body this way and then that comes a root of self-hatred irritants you're upset with yourself you begin to compare yourself to others and comparison is a thief of enjoyment and then when you look at pictures like this it really is a fresh breath of air and that is just a reflection of how sad our world has become that you know you'd have to find a picture of somebody online to see what they really look like because everything is so distorted when it comes to social media so i think these type of conversations are important these pictures are important so that when you are looking at these girls sitting at home today they don't look that different to you in any way. Just, you know, of course, surgery or Botox, but wrinkles, spots, blemishes, skin texture. This is what we see. This is why I love YouTube, for an example. Like when I do a story with friends, I'll use a filter here and there. But on YouTube, with my camera, there's no opportunity for me to do that. This is how you're seeing me raw. Sometimes you're seeing me and I'm looking a little bit more tired than usual. Like last night, I had, you know, heavier bags under my eyes because I was working or I just had not enough sleep. And some days, some days, guys, it just gets like that. Some days you don't get as much sleep as the others and therefore you just look more tired. And, you know, um, blemishes, wrinkles, whatever you see. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't see my skin doing any wrinkles. That's just because, you know, when you're just ethnic we just age much better thank the damn lord thank the lord um but um you know you just there's no opportunity for me to edit myself in any way whether it be a filter or not and that's refreshing to see because how you're seeing me every day is how you will see me in life majority of subscribers will always when they meet me in person they say i look much better in real life you know than um how it's been seen here of course a camera picks up every single little detail in a far more intricate manner but it's just you see things differently and in a better way. Um, we have other people as well, like Lala Anthony, and of course, you know, Anna Wintour, um, and of course, um, Bella Hadid as well. Bella looks great, skin looks gorgeous. Um, whatever they've done to it, it looks fine, but like it's good to see them in a state where you would see them like this with your naked eye. 
Because if you see those girls with your naked eyes, you'd be like, this looks very different to what you see on Insta, but that's what they're associated with the most. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Let me know your thoughts out, guys, when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel, click that button. It's daily and consistent content. Check out my new interview with Amber. I would appreciate it. It's doing very well um, publicly, and I appreciate that, guys, but do check that out. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that button.